everyone. Thanks for tuning back in once again to the original Queen Amadai Shakur show. Also, thanks to those of you tuning in on the Queen Amadai Shakur TV show. I'm your host, Queen Amadai Shakur. And yes, I am black in the building. Okay, so here's another nefarious story. Man fatally stabs mother in her sleep after researching how to kill an elderly person and then leaves pieces of her dismembered body in tow bins along the highway, according to police. A 56-year-old man in Minnesota allegedly killed his own mother after she learned that he'd been stealing from her. Uh, then he cut up her remains and dropped them in tote bins filled with her, uh, filled it with her dismembered body parts, and just dropped it in various ditches along the state highway. Troy Michael Middenis was arrested last week and charged with one count of second degree murder for slaying his 82 year old mother, Sandra Viola Mittenis. Here's my question. Why was he only charged with second degree murder? This was clearly murder in the first because it was premeditated. Now, how does this make any sense? It was premeditated for the fact that they say themselves that he was researching online how to kill how to kill an elderly person. That means that he was planning this out methodically. So second degree, uh, that's absolutely not what he committed. Okay. A meninist was already locked up on charges of theft, mail theft, and check forgery when he was charged with his mother's murder, according to records. Now, the facts alleged in this case make it one of the most horrific and disturbing cases ever experienced in the course of a 34-year career. This is what one of the uh, Burnsville Police Department officers said. Now, and they also say that uh, thanks to the Burnsville Police Department for their doggedness into this investigation of the disappearance of Ms. Wittiness without, without which the case would have gone unsolved, according to Dakota County, uh, uh, Dakota County Attorney Kathy Kena. Okay, she said she, she said this in an email statement uh, sent to Law and Crime. She said, my deepest sympathy is extended to the other family members and friends of Ms. Wittiness for their great loss. Now, according to a probable cause affidavit, officers with the Burnsville Police Department in late June were investigating reports of mail theft allegedly commit, committed by Meninis when they learned that some of the proceeds from the alleged theft had been deposited into his mother, Sandra Meninis' bank account. When detectives tried to speak with her, Meninis initially told them that she was in South Dakota and then claimed that she had finally, you know, actually died June the 14th of 2022. So when executing a search warrant on their home, police found what they say, uh, they say they recovered an obituary indicating that the mother had died on that date. But when they contacted the funeral home, they denied ever providing postmortem care or even funeral services for Miss Meninis. So he was clearly lying. And this man must have thought he was so slick. I don't know how he thought he was going to pull this off. So he's out here faking his mother's death. Um, that's what he thought he was going to do. Well, not faking her death because he actually took her life. But um, faking the funeral and all of that. Fake obituaries, pray tell. Like he didn't think that the police would have the wherewithal to go and inquire about any of this with the funeral home director or anything also crazy i mean some criminals are so stupid you can't make them make sense now it goes on to say several family members explained to police that they had not seen sandra meetingness in about a year and believed that her uh believed that she was dead because that was what meetingness had told them meetingness allegedly said that his mother had fallen down the stairs in june of 22 at 2022 and was hospitalized but could not be visited because she had a stupid 19. Uh, he claimed she died shortly after the purported fall. Oh, he thought he had it all figured out, but clearly not. After claiming his mother had died, Minnis allegedly sold her car and then investigators tracked the vehicle down and performed forensic tests, which gave preliminary indications of the presence of blood in the trunk. Mm -hmm. A subsequent search warrant executed on the home that Minnis shared with his mother earlier um, earlier this month revealed the presence of blood on the stairs. Uh, so when he said she fell down the stairs, maybe he dragged her down the stairs after he killed her. I'm just wondering. 
Now, officers also say they found a mattress and box spring that both had large dark red stains on them. In a post-Miranda interview with the detectives, Meninas allegedly confessed to killing his mother because he had spent all of her money and she was becoming suspicious and wanted to see her finances. Uh, He even said that prior to the murder, he went online to research how to kill an elderly person without poison uh, before deciding to stab her in her sleep. So that's what this devil did. He stabbed her in in her sleep. So sad and gruesome. Now, why is he, again, I'm asking, being charged only with second degree murder? Uh, He further said that he researched the best spots to stab someone to make their death quick and painless. Oh, well, wasn't that nice of him? I mean, it's the least he could do, right? Lee, so nefarious. He told the detectives that he killed the victim on June the 2nd of 2022 in his Burnsville, Dakota County home by stabbing her in the neck with a large kitchen knife. After she had been dead for a couple of days, the defendant dismembered her body and placed her body parts in multiple different large plastic tote bins that he had in his garage. He then drove with the bins in his car from Burnsville toward Appleton, Minnesota, and discarded parts of the victim's body by throwing them in the ditch as he drove along. Mm -hmm. Defendant advised that he did this because he did not want to get caught. Well, of course he didn't want to get caught, but here's the thing. What an idiot. It's amazing to me how criminals don't want to get caught for the first crime they commit. So in order to prevent getting caught for the first crime, they commit another crime and then another and so on and so forth, if need be. I mean, at the end of the day, he stole his mother's money. What's the worst that could have happened had he just owned up to it? Was she going to have him locked up? Well, probably not. Okay. She was elderly and quite frankly, likely needed him to take care of her. But it's just amazing that he did all of this you know, and uh, now this idiot's going to prison, uh, quite frankly, where he belongs. Uh, So anyway, goes on to say that he, he, um, the defendant advised that he discarded two of the plastic totes behind a dumpster at an abandoned rest stop on Highway 7 towards Wilmar, Minnesota. Officers were able to recover the bins left at the rest stop, which uh, they said matched similar bins found in Meninas' garage while executing the search warrant. Meninas is currently being held in the Dakota County Jail on a $2 million bond and is scheduled to appear in court uh, for an omnibus hearing on July the 20th. This is all sad. And like I told you all, you know, these people... We keep hearing these stories about people doing this to their supposed loved ones. What is getting into people? Oh, crazy. But please drop a comment and let me know what you think about this. I mean, the the fact that this man could not only stab his elderly mother, okay, while she was asleep multiple times, but the fact or the notion that he was able to dismember her body I mean, just marinate on that for a second. What kind of wicked devil can even stomach that? Even the thought of it, much less to do it. And then he lied for a whole year. The family didn't have any questions as to why there was no funeral. They didn't think that was all a bit strange. They didn't ask him if there was a will. They didn't ask anything. And when she was in the hospital, even if they couldn't visit her, did they not ever stop to wonder why she never called any of them or why didn't any of them call the hospital to check on her? I just find this all very interesting. Some people are just so ridiculous and they just believe anything that someone says, even if it doesn't sound like it makes sense, I guess in their minds, they try to make it make sense. Or, you know, sometimes people have a habit of believing what they want to believe. I would have had numerous of questions. Okay, I would have had numerous of questions because here's the thing. In 2022, they weren't banning people from the hospitals due to stupid 19. 
they weren't doing that. So why wouldn't anyone have been able to visit her? I would have had questions about that. And also I would have been calling the hospital to speak to her uh, or asked him what's her room number so that I could contact her. I'm, the, I'm just saying if that were my relative, that's what I would have been doing. I just find this all real crazy. But anyway, drop me a comment to let me know what you think. Until next time, beloveds, peace.